So we've been talking about the fact that our willingness to trust is really part of our individual makeup. And, and while psychologists don't know how much of that is hardwired and genetically based or how much of that is learned and behavioral based, it really influences how readily we'll consider data, how we'll consider whether we're willing to work with someone or not willing to work with someone. And so that also means that trust is always situational. I may trust Lisa, for example, to babysit my, ki my kids when my wife and I go out to dinner, but I might not trust her with my investment portfolio or to make the presentation to the senior team. So it's wise to trust in some situations and not in others. So, so now that we've talked a little bit about what trust is and how it shows up in organizations, let's look at a framework for how to talk about trust in some really focused ways. We talk about the dimensions of trust. Trust between individuals, one person and another, or trust within individuals in a team. We talk about three different aspects that really comprise what trust is. Ability, integrity, and loyalty. Three independent aspects of trust. So when we talk about ability, we talk about competence, we talk about knowledge and skills. Does this person have the information? Do they have the knowledge? Do they have the skills? Does this team have what it's needed, what it needs, in order to get its work done? Those are questions of ability. When we talk about integrity, we talk about sound principles, we talk about a moral base. Uh, we talk about someone with balanced viewpoints, someone who really doesn't continue to harp their own opinion or play favorites among others. When we think of integrity, for example, we think of the integrity of that table that you're sitting at. It's sturdy, it's well suited to the purpose. When I think of the integrity of a plastic toy table that my three-year-old son plays with, its integrity is really quite different. So when we think of integrity, we think of that soundness, that robustness, which also implies reliability. I can count on it.